Just Seen It is made possible by Adobe and the Adobe Creative Cloud, including Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and After Effects. More information is available at bit.ly slash Adobe PTV. As World War II comes to an end, an allied platoon is formed. And to put a team together and try to protect what's left and find what's missing. Aren't you a little old for that? Yes. Their task is to rescue artworks before Hitler destroys them. The Nazis are on the run, but they're taking everything with them. So we have to get as close to the front as we can. But the battle to save them isn't easy in The Monuments Men. Hi, I'm Anna Maria. I'm Jamie. And I'm Sean. Next up is The Monuments Men, directed by George Clooney. We've all just seen it. Anna Maria, what did you think? I was hoping to like it because it seems like a very interesting premise. It's one of those footnotes to history that you don't really know about. I could not find the story there. It seemed to me like a bunch of guys looking at maps and wandering around. And it wasn't clear for me what they were supposed to do. It wasn't clear to me who they were. So I kind of got lost and could not find the story there. I disagree. I really liked it. Um, I thought it was a solid movie, uh, very entertaining, uh, directed by George Clooney, uh, written and produced by George Clooney and Grant Hesloff. So these are guys that did Good Night and Good Luck and Ides of March. Um, I expected from the trailer, I thought it was going to be sort of cheesy and like Ocean's Eleven meets, you know, Saving Private Ryan. Look, if George Clooney was going for a throwback to The Dirty Dozen, Kelly's Heroes, The Great Escape, then I think with this cast, he really achieved it. I saw what you were talking about with the Kelly's Heroes references and the Great Escape, and it was that kind of picture. But those movies had a certain drive that this movie doesn't for me. I wasn't as entertained. I, I like you, felt that the story was kind of a mixed bag. If I saw a blurb on the History Channel or something, I'd probably think that would make a really, really interesting movie. And instead, it sort of just makes a okay movie that that kind of moves from A to B and but we don't really learn a whole lot about who these individuals were the soldiers we don't really learn a whole lot about the art or the artifacts that they're they're saving and so I was just sort of left going okay that was nice I don't much fancy an obstacle course it's not so bad by the end you're just crawling on your belly while teenagers shoot blanks over your head well yes and no how's that yes they are teenagers and no they're not blanks Every actor really had their own moment in the film. One of the standouts to me was Hugh Bonneville, uh, who has a really great arc in the movie, as well as Bill Murray. Um, and Bill Murray gets to play off of Bob Balaban a lot, and they're really great together. And uh, George Clooney and Jean Desjardins get to do some stuff together, Damon and Blanchett. Clooney was really solid, kind of holding it down as the leader, obviously not only the leader as the director of the film, but the leader as the lead character in the movie. I just wish they had more to do. I didn't get their characters. I thought the characters were flimsy. They were like poorly made composites. I thought for the actors, they were given a few moments. I just didn't feel them as characters. We have yeah. we have little things that are hinted at as uh, John Goodman's character is a sculptor, but that element of him never really goes anywhere. He doesn't get to do anything with being a sculptor. It introduces them all as these sort of students of art uh, or people who have studied art and then they just kind of go around and find art, and I didn't really know what. But their, Sean, there's not a lot of chances did. for John Goodman to sculpt in the middle of a war. There, I mean, he's there got a gun. He, you know. But it would have been nice to see a scene where he sees, you know, I don't know, the statue of David or something, and knows it's the statue of David, or or well, is able to tell scenes. them something about this art that we wouldn't have known as an audience. Je sais que vous êtes. Alors, vous avez que j'aimerais à dire. J'en sais rien. Can you stop speaking in French? Whatever language you're speaking. Now, guys, how about the Kate Blanchett character? And should there be something else there? I mean, to me, she I felt like she was doing the same character that she did in Good German. She was doing the same character <laughs> she did in Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. There's sort of a budding romance between her and Matt Damon that doesn't necessarily happen, and I wish it did. I actually like Kate Blanchett. I thought at least she was she was you know she was doing an accent. She was bringing a little bit of a character to the piece, whereas some of the other people uh, were kind of playing themselves or their own sort of uh, on-screen personalities. But, but I think that's good casting. I mean, I think you, is. you write a role and you cast a Bill Murray and he brings something else to the role. You cast a Jean Desjardins, he brings something else to it. You can wipe out a generation of people, you can burn their homes to the ground and somehow they'll still come back. 
But if you destroy their achievements, their history, then it's like they never existed. So this is also directed by George Clooney. He stars and directs, and it, it's not his best work. It's not as good as Good Night and Good Luck. It's certainly not as bad as Leatherheads. It's not as bad as Leatherheads, so it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> He's a competent filmmaker. He knows how to make a good movie. I don't think he had the best story on his hands, and so it kind of just wound up being a forgettable experience for I me. think he had a good story on his hands. I agree. It's not as great as Good Night and Good Luck or even Ides of March. Um, it's not his best film, but certainly not his worst film, and I don't know that he was going for an Academy-worthy film. It's probably not George Clooney's best film, but I thought it was thoroughly entertaining and the cast give great performances. I say see it. The Monuments Men isn't the monument it wants to be to the soldiers it portrays, but it's worth seeing at home. Stream it. It's a waste of an excellent cast and probably a very good premise. I say skip it. Our votes add up to one and a half tickets, which is a stream it for The Monuments Men. Cheers. 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 The Monuments Men. Well, if it weren't for us, you'd, you'd be speaking German. If it wasn't for you, I might be dead. But I would still be speaking French. AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at AJA.com PTV.